everybody what is happening today i'm out here on the chesapeake bay <laughs> look at how look at how beautiful that this is i'm out here in my kayak that's right people i'm in my old town kayak today and y'all it is it is so slick calm so glass that i can actually bring my big camera out with me today and i can also bring all my other camera gear y'all i'm like pretty much almost out to where we're gonna be fishing today. We're gonna to be fishing along the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. And for those of y'all who ain't from around here, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel goes for about 13 miles uh, from the you know the Virginia Beach side to the Eastern Shore. And y'all, it just holds so much fish, holds a bunch of what we call bridge monsters, or in the kayak world, Colton Watkins, some lap donkeys. You guys, so the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel holds some of the biggest inshore game fish. So we've got big bull drum, big black drum, uh, also some trophy size sheep's head. So we could get some 10 pound sheep's head. Uh, we could also, you know, just really get some big old doormat flounder. So I've got three different rods today. Everything is going to be geared towards catching the dang monster up on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, up on the bridge. So you guys, we're gonna have some bottom sweeper jigs today. Uh, fiddler crabs, blue crabs, that's the name of the game. But y'all, check this out. So y'all, today is just like, I'm absolutely so stoked. Look at how slick calm this is. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, put my camera down and I will see y'all quickly when we get out to the fishing spot right up here on these pilings. All right, here we go. Time to go to dang battle. So today we're going to be using these one ounce. Well, I got different sizes, but we're going to start with the one ounce bottom sweeper. Uh, this is a two aught uh, hook right here. Really like these because it's like super compact and it works great for uh, fiddler crabs, blue crabs, all that stuff. So this is the program right here, people combat fishing that's what we call this because we could literally catch anything between trophy size sheep's head bridge monster which is the big black drum or the big redfish and uh so definitely want to be ready for that so i've got a 4000 series reel and got a little bit more stouter rod who wants to be the first the first lucky contestant here on the game show of who wants to catch the bridge monster so this is it, y'all. We're just gonna be using this fiddler crab. Nothing special of how we hook these guys. Just going through kind of one of the appendages, just like that. Fish on, fish on. All right, y'all, I'm hooked up. There we go. There we go. Fish on. this guy ah. feels like a good sheep's head really good sheep's head Giant. Absolute giant. Oh my gosh. Oh, all right, y'all, there it is. An absolute. 
absolute giant on the bottom sweeper jig. Oh my gosh, that is a stud. <laughs> it's an absolute giant, she said. Oh, that's probably eight, 10 pounds, easy. Easy eight to 10 pounds. All right, y'all, so that is what we're using today is these fiddler crabs. Uh, fiddler crabs and blue crabs. These fiddler crabs are amazing uh, sheep's head bait. Um, and that's pretty much all these like sheep's head, black drum and red drum, you know, are feeding on around these bridge pilings. Uh, the red drum will feed on fish, uh, black drum a little bit, but the sheep's head primarily gonna be on these crustaceans is what we call them. So like crabs, shrimp, things like that. But these bridge pilings um, really are one of the, you know, best places to fish for these sheep's head, no matter where you're at. So in a kayak is pretty much going to be one of the most effective ways that you can fish on these pilings. And for those of y'all who are here in the Chesapeake Bay, you guys know what I'm talking about. And if you're not, then, uh, so I also love these old town kayaks that Christy and I just got. Um, I much prefer this like bike pedal because as you can see, I have like instant reverse. So I can really position myself really good up against these pilings with just like instant reverse. And you know, the control on these old towns is really awesome. So uh, yeah, for those of y'all who don't know, Christy and I, we actually did get ourselves some old town kayaks that we're like pretty stoked on. So that's all we're doing is just working right up against these pilings and just trying to get as close as we can. Um, and hopefully this video is uh, a confidence booster to a lot of y'all who are in my fishery here in Virginia Beach uh, and North Carolina who are grinding away here on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge because I'm not gonna lie, the key word is grind. Y'all, it can, it can definitely be a grind out here on these bridge pilings. Um, we just have tons of like croaker, sea bass. Um, so that's why I do like to use fiddler crabs. Blue crabs, like cut quarter chunk of blue crab, you can go through a lot of blue crab uh, with a lot of these just little like, you know, kind of what we call tail biters, but you know, spot croaker, sea bass, things like that. Um, so using whole crab or fiddler crabs, you know, that's, you know, if you get a bite, it's pretty much gonna be, you know, the sheep's head. Uh, but when you're using blue crab, um, you're using quarter chunk of blue crab, then, you know, you can um, pretty much, you can, at that point, you know, you can increase your chances of catching, you know, big redfish, big black drum. So that's why I like to pretty much come out here with both blue crab and fiddler crabs. And right now this tide is actually kind of ideal for being able to work these pilings kind of slacking out a little bit. So, here we still, are. Still not too late, we can go trade it in for a box of <laughs> no, right. frozen waffles. <laughs> All right y'all, so we're, we are back at the filet table and we have Elias V around turn. Nice. He's behind the camera. This is his uh, fish bag. So this Catch and Cook is sponsored by the YouTube channel of Elias V. So, you guys, look at this. Donkey. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I think the game plan today is we are going to grill this sheep's head. And uh, when they get this big and slimy, uh, you got these big scales. It's almost like similar to a drum. So what we're going to do is we're going to do on the half shell. So anyways, look at this guy. This guy's just an absolute giant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going through here. Okay. Right Fly. here? Yep. What? Oh my gosh. Look at Christy. She's taking pictures of me from inside. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. So like for example. Oh, okay, and then you open it. Yeah, we're gonna go upwards. So he's got a good amount of meat up here, I'm guessing. But uh huh. We're, we're gonna go this way, so because otherwise your knife will not survive. <laughs> the armor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
This is all rib cage. Right. Make soup with it or whatever you want. Really? Yeah. Oh, just go right in right there. Dude, that's a that's a pro tip right there, dog. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Gonna be sharpening your knife after this though. Yeah, right. That's how he suspends himself. Float floats with that. Yeah, that's crazy. That thin. Living off of a bunch of big old barnacles and yeah. whatever swims by those pilings. Barnacles especially, yeah. You ever um, been in the mangroves and you like Seen them. sight cast them almost? You like they're, drop a... They're very Very tricky. aggressive. Yeah, very tricky. They're like super deep up in the mangroves, but yeah. like... It's like you can throw like an artificial shrimp in there and they'll destroy it. Yeah, it's funny. I think the Florida strains act differently than the, the, up, uh, the northern strains. Yeah. It's almost like the sheep's head down there are just waiting for like stuff like crabs, those whatever those crabs are that live in the mangroves mm -hmm. to just fall out of the trees. And... It's too big. <laughs> Can't reel it in. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. I don't fish for the. You don't want to fish for this. It's this big. It's too much work. Which, by the way, if you guys don't know Elias, the Elias Bellsberg, his channel, then you probably don't know inshore fishing. But if you don't know it, then if you like to learn how to fish, you definitely need to check it out. So in the grumpy way of fishing. <laughs> Yeah, fish for small fish. <laughs> no way. Probably one of the top uh, inshore anglers in the YouTube community. So you guys definitely check out that channel. But anyways, y'all. So I think we'll, yeah, we'll put one of them on the grill. Yeah. That's it. Well, here's the situation. So grill does not work. So we're using the smoker as a makeshift charcoal grill, you guys, to make us some grilled, grilled sheep's head. So, should be pretty good. We've got some seasonings and we're in good hands tonight with a great guest chef. When in Rome, right? Chesapeake Bay seasoning. Chesapeake Bay seasoning, all purpose. All right, we'll do a little bit of lime. Lemon, lemon. Pretty simple, y'all. So, there it is. Sh uh, grilled, grilled sheep's head on the half shell on our uh, makeshift smoker here. I'm sorry, that's not down. Mm -hmm. Flush side. Flush or the side. Flush side. There it goes. Looks good. Dang, dog. Dude, that looks so good. It does look really good. Dang. Yeah, dog. Looks pretty good to me. I would love to hear your opinion on this because you catch these all the time. Bad. Is it kind of dry? Mm -mm. It's not. No, it's um, it's like striper. Yeah, my name's striper. Would you eat that again? Hundred percent. Okay. Um, Dang, I feel like the big ones just don't fry very well. Give it a try. This is the first time you ever tried to grow? Yeah. I'll yeah. Just... Yeah, go savage. No. That's right. It's your house. Your there house. it is. That's right. Dang, dude. Yeah, it isn't not that dry at all. No. Yeah, super good, man. It's kind of cool with that texture, kind of that steaky it's texture firm. to it, you it know? It's a lot firmer when you grow it. It's good stuff, that's on the half shell. Yeah. If we did have some butter and we wanted to be like super unhealthy, I think yeah. that would be the key. Mm -hmm. But, all right, y'all. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for Peace watching. Peace out. Peace. Sheep's head. Sheep's head. Grilled sheep's head. Good stuff. All right, next time. Deuces.